She is Andrea, and she's going to share her testimony. Hello. Love it, love it. Thank you. Well, this is just a short one. This is just a short one, but uh, when was it? Tuesday, so about two days ago. was really, really, I just woke up kind of feeling a little weird. Just melancholy, I guess. And I just didn't really do anything about it. I didn't try to, like, you know, give myself a pep talk and get up or anything like that. I was just like, whatever, I guess I'll just feel like this today. And then every, yeah, and everybody at the church meeting was, you know, trying to, get me to just, you know, stop being stupid. Yeah. And I was like, nope, I'm going to just stay like this. But it, it's really crazy because somebody had shared a testimony, Rashad shared a testimony that night about um, he had rebuked a dog from attacking him. Yeah, I did the and I was, yeah, I was actually in unbelief. I'm not going to lie. I was really skeptical. I was like, hmm. But it's crazy that same day I read your book about when you did that with the dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that happened twice. And I was just like, I don't, it's like, I don't know. I don't, I've just never seen something like that. So I was kind of like, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I had a dream huh. that night where I was, I don't remember what I was doing. I was like at somebody's house. And then I was, like, kind of rummaging through some papers, and I started to see that they had, like, kind of, like, a bunch of New Age stuff in their house. And they were trying to explain it to me, like, it's really not that serious, like, 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 uh, they were just trying to, like, basically make it seem like it's something that Christians can do, too. And I was like, nope. And as I was leaving their house, I was explaining to them that, no, that's just not what Christians do. I'm not going to, I don't even want to be here. I don't want to be any, uh, a part of it. And I'm leaving their property, and all of a sudden I get lifted up out of the sky. Like, I'm just lifted off the ground. I'm not too far off the ground, but I'm, like, kind of ignoring that it's happening because I started to get afraid. I was like, let me just ignore it. Let me just ignore it. Maybe I'll go back down to And I just very quickly get, um, I mean, just like that, I'm all of a sudden super high up. And I immediately was like, I'm being, I knew I was like, I'm being attacked right now by a demon. So I was like, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And when I tell you, I got thrown down to the earth. And before I, right when I finished that sentence, I was like, safely. So I got thrown down, but I didn't get hurt. Right. I was, I mean, it was just right like that. And I remember I kept trying to say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Let me go in the name of Jesus. Because I was being held down. And I could not move my mouth at all. Right. And I could and I couldn't move. Like I could feel something holding me down, but I couldn't move. And I just kept trying to say it. I kept trying to say it. And uh, back when I was a part of, so I kind of learned how to wake myself up a little bit. So I just started throwing, like you know, trying to move, trying to move. Finally, I woke up, and immediately, just as soon as I got up out of bed, I was like, I rebuke any, you know, entity in here in the name of Jesus. Get out, get out. And I just said that for like five minutes. And then I just was like, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to sound stupid, but I was actually like, whoa, that was really cool. It was scary, but it was like really cool because I was like, it worked. <laughs> so I know. It's so exciting to know how the name of Jesus works like that. And God gives you the ability to will yourself away because I do it all the time. I do it all the time. And there are times when they pin you down, you can't talk, they muzzle your mouth, they, they totally have you muffled. And you can't move, but you can mm -hmm. Yeah. And that works. It still gets rid of them. It's, that's what's so funny. They try to silence you, but they still don't have the authority over you. You have authority yeah. over them. When I woke up, I got... I... I was about to kind of go back to sleep, and then I was like, well, if, you know, did you also wake me up to say anything? And I got Psalms 91, verse 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt not, shalt thou trample under your foot. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> it was just really crazy. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs>